Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. And yes, I'm going on another rant. Because you know what? I can't, I rarely, wa I don't watch TV. I watch maybe three programs a week, okay? I can't even get on my computer without finding things that are just enraging. Outrageously enraging. C. Matthews sent me a link, and I will post it in the show more info or the description box below this video so that you can read the article yourself and you can watch the news broadcasts that sparked my rage, okay? And I'm going to read you the article, and I'm going to let you go, and please, please go to this link, watch these videos, because you are not going to believe your eyes. Okay, but it's true because guess what? I saw it on the news. All right, it says widow being evicted for living off grid. Homeowner told to leave without notice. An officer came and knocked on the door, then posted a placard that says uninhabitable property, do not enter. Florida woman Robin Speronis told WFTX TV. Speronis, a widow and a former real estate agent, recently appeared on television to speak out about living off-grid. She lives in a clean, well-kept home, but without running water or power outlets. Instead, she collects rainwater in large barrels and uses solar panels to charge her electronics. The more I got into it, the more exciting, the more of an adventure it became, she said. Yes, Speronis lifestyle didn't sit well with the city's excuse me yet Speronis's lifestyle did not sit well with the city's code enforcers who ordered her to vacate the property without even looking inside the house Speronis says that the officials are putting a woman who lives by herself who's a widow out on the street without any notice a local attorney has taken up Speronis's case for free. City officials have said that they will reverse their position if Speronis can show that she lives sustainably. Speronis says she's ready to fight. If my father in heaven wants me to be the test case for something, I will be the test case for something. Good for you, uh, good for you Robin. This is, this is a really big deal, folks. This woman's house is paid for. The taxes are up to date. Her home is clean. She she fill she you know she has a solar shower that she heats up in the sun. She fills the back of her toilet tank with rainwater, and she has a a uh, Coleman propane camp stove that she cooks on. She doesn't even have a refrigerator. Most of her food is um, non-perishable. If she wants something perishable, she just buys it the day of. So. Her home is clean. Her property is well maintained. She lives very, very, very cheaply, frugally. Um, and, you know, she has a radio. She has a carbon monoxide detector within four feet of her camp, of her propane camp stove. And, and it's never been a problem. So she's respecting all the safety rules. And she has an antenna that she hooks up and gets Wi-Fi for her. That's her communication is her laptop. I'm assuming that, that she doesn't have a cell, cell phone. But the only thing she's doing wrong in the eyes of the city is living off-grid. So, yeah, they'll reverse the decision if they can prove that she's living sustainably. That's bull crap. Because they slapped that notice on her house and never even went inside. They saw a TV interview and tracked her down and said, uh-uh, you can't live without power and running water. What a bunch of malarkey. Who makes up these codes? It's not like she's living in a tent in someone's backyard or in a, in a vacant field or something and digging holes to put her, her bodily waste in. It's just horrendous. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from Our Half Acre Homestead saying, Robin Speronis, if you're out there, please email me, Mrs. Wolfie at gmail.com. I would love to correspond with you. You are a hero and you, you may not think so, but you rock. You are. You go get them, girl. Bye-bye.